What's going on guys? Uh, I'm going to show you how to make some dynamic metal reflections today. We're going to make something like this. We've got Thor's trusty hammer flying through uh, the mountain range. We've got some nice reflections going on uh, on top of the surface. Alright, so this is super fast and easy to make, so let me just stop this. Uh, what I've basically got here is uh, just my hammer, PNG. Um, uh, and then I've put it in a new comp and I've set up a couple keyframes so that I can animate it across the screen. And then I'm going to take that pre-comp and I'm going to drop that in a new comp. And let's just set the end frame here. And I've got a little mountain range that I'm going to use as my background. Cool. Hammer going across the mountains. Now what I want to do is duplicate the mountains, bring it up above the hammer, and let's rename this reflection. And I'm just going to drop a uh, displacement map on here. So if we go to XFX, uh, distort, displacement map. And I'm going to set the uh, horizontal displacement to luminance, and same with the vertical. And I'm going to select the hammer animated. Now watch what happens when I uh, increase the displacement. Oh yeah. All of a sudden the pixels start wrapping around the hammer, right? So as the hammer is flying through the scene, it's actually distorting the pixels uh, behind it, right? <clears throat> uh, now if I distort this too much, you see you start getting these tears on the side and that can be uh, fixed by saying wrap pixels around. That'll fill in those holes, but I don't want to distort that much. Let's say um, about 200 and 200 is probably a pretty good. Um, <clears throat> and now uh, I want to cut out the hammer, so I'm going to actually duplicate the hammer again, bring it up to the top, and I'm going to set on the reflection, this is going to be my mat layer, and on the reflection layer I'm going to set this to a luma mat. Bam. So now the reflection is only on the hammer itself. Um, now I don't want it to be reflecting down here on the handle, so what I'm going to do is go to my mat and I'm going to throw curves on there. Uh, color correction uh, curves. And I'm just going to boost up the highlights and bring down the darks to sort of isolate this uh, metallic portion. All right? And then I am going to uh, just set my reflection to something like maybe an overlay mode. And there you go. I'm getting a lot of uh, visual noise on here because the, the PNG I'm using for the hammer happens to be uh, fairly detailed uh, in the metal, so all I need to do is just throw like a Gaussian blur <clears throat> uh, right up above the displacement map and set this to, let's say, something like 15. Cool, so that blurs that out a little bit, gives it more of a rough uh, edge there, and then my mountains in the background, I can do the same thing. Um, I can just blur those out so that they fade into the background and then when we play this, there we go. You've got the reflections moving along the surface of the axe as it moves through the scene. Pretty easy and dynamic and it's super easy to update this and change. Alright, well I hope that was uh, helpful and we'll see you next time.